Hello, hello. Welcome back to another music reaction with me, your host, Rachel. I'm an avid music lover and singer, and today we're listening to Nine Inch Nails. The song is called The Hand That Feeds. With that, we're jumping into it. <laughs> Just gonna stare you down really hard. I have not listened to anything from Nine Inch Nails, so this is gonna be a complete surprise to me. Um, and I'm excited to listen to it. So let's jump into it together. <laughs> so I don't think I've listened to like industrial rock. I mean, that's just what that is. You're keeping in still Okay, 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 wait, 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 Sometimes I feel like there's no good place to stop in a video to say something. Um, I'm digging the, the way, like, the rhythm of the song itself and the, the, um, the lyrics. Like, when he goes, um... I think it was like when he goes, uh, when it bleeds and it this and it's cold, um, kind of changed up rhythmically what they were doing with the lyrics. And it was like a fun, but it's still like, was, it was still rhymed or, or the rhythm still kind of pieced back to how the rest of the song was going. So it was really pleasing to hear in my ears. If that makes sense. If you understand what I'm trying to say. Um, and then it's just like, it's just got this great beat of like, it, like, it'll get you going, you know, like you're tired and you, you need a little bit of a punch in the butt. It's just like got that steady, like, um, that steady beat that just kind of like builds you up, you know? Um, okay, let's get. Let's continue listening to this. <laughs> no.
goodness and then trent at the end is like i need to breathe <laughs> okay i was gonna stop kind of like in the middle of that but then it just because that whole end portion was just building on top of itself i didn't want to break the rhythm uh, i didn't want to break the build you know you know when you're listening to something and you're just like like it pauses or like someone opens the door to your car and you're like, no, nah, let, let it finish. Let it finish doing the build or let it finish doing the little section of the course. So then it's like a nice, like, okay, I can go now kind of thing, you know? Um, so I was like, no, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to do that to y'all. Um, <sighs> Alessandro, I'm assuming that that's who is on the keyboard. Um, I love the whole keyboard solo part. That was very, that was very fun. I dig it. And then, um, Trent went from like that, um, that like, from that louder sound that he had through the majority of the video back, in, like back into like whispering into our ears. And I liked that part where he was like, uh, um, he goes on and on and on and on, but he starts really small. So it just like hits hard once you get to that top part of that, like the end part of that lyric. Cause then it's just like screaming. Cause you're just, it's a release of emotions. And I dug that that was the choice that they made because I mean, you could have just been like on and on and on and on, but he started like small and then went really big with it. And then the whole end part where they were like pretty much just the, I think the whole end part was just, uh, will you bite the hand that feeds you? Will you stay down on your knees? And it was just repeated over and over and over, but it was just kind of like slowly building to that end part where it was like, wow. Um, that song was a journey. Um, but it it kind of makes you think it's like when you repeatedly hear certain lyrics it kind of makes you think how like what what does that what do the lyrics necessarily mean and maybe what they mean to you you know and kind of the imagery i get is um like bite the hand that feeds you will you stay down on your knees it's kind of like it makes you think of a power position where someone has power over you and is technically the hand that feeds you, but you're submitting to that and they're like, will you stay down on your knees? Or are you going to fight for, I don't know, your freedom or whatever you're going to, like whatever the power play situation is. It's kind of the feeling that I got from this song because it was such an angsty buildup throughout the song and in certain parts, but then... It's also the, the lyrics themselves that really kind of sink in. Um, I enjoyed that. That was like a journey. That was a journey for me. I'm like, there, yeah, I like that. I, I, I like that. Sometimes I start to ramble and then I'm like, okay, Rachel, let's rein it in. Let's, let's, let's focus on what you wanted to say and say what you want to say and then be done saying what you want to say and then let it end naturally sometimes i just can't stop talking and then it turns into complete nonsense <laughs> um but i'm digressing so <laughs> i just did what i was just talking about um thank you all for watching um if you liked it hit the like button hit the subscribe if you want to see more and I will see you all in the next video. <gasps> Bye!